just chilling. Yeah. What's he doing? Making a snow angel. And he's looking at. Us. Yeah. All right, let's go downstairs. He got like a. Oh man, my knees. Hey, good morning, everybody. Victor here and Zach. Say what's up, Zach. with celebrating victories, okay? Uh, we just woke up. Well, no, I've been up for a little bit of time. I've been hanging out with him. Uh, but what I wanna talk to you guys today is I wanna bring you on my little daily journey of what a typical day looks like for me. This isn't really typical just because I have a, I own a dog training company, as a lot of you guys know. Um, but this week, cause we're, it's actually tomorrow's Christmas Eve. This whole week I took off just to spend a lot of time with my family. I don't have any dogs in training. Um, I'm not, I didn't make any appointments this entire week. Um, no private lessons, nothing at all. So strictly to my, for my family. But I, as you guys know, I also own the ATM company as well. So there's a lot of stuff that I still have to do um, this week in order to keep that in um, up and running. Okay, so today, I'm going to focus a lot on that because um, it is still early in the week. The week just started and I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to take you all with me and I'm going to take out some money. OK, and I'm going to go fill up like think, three or four ATMs and show you what, you know, typical um, the typical time frame it is to fill it up, to fill it up. Um, some other challenges that, you know, we might run into. Um, also kind of talking and, and um I, I do got to give out some checks to, to some of my business owners, so I'm going to do that as well. So you'll see a little bit of that, and I'll bring you on that journey, and hi. that's about it. Say hi. Hi. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Fill these ATMs. All right, y'all. So I just left the bank. One thing I like about this bank, I'm not gonna give you the name of it, um, but what I really like about it, and I have multiple. Th I, this is my second bank I have for my ATM company. Um, but the good thing about this, because I go to the bank often one service that they offer hold on let me get in here ah. <clears throat> one thing that they do that i really like is they have a business service lane i don't know if you guys were able to see it i, I try to record a little bit of it um but where they separate people that are just going there for you know like personal banking accounts um they have their own line or they have a line and then the business service lane has their own line so only people that have businesses go there and just it makes it so much convenient because you don't have to usually there's not a, a long line on that one on the business line at all so it's just go in get out real quick easy and then move on so i go quite often a few times a week so it's very very convenient the other bank i had um they didn't have that service so i would i would have to sit there i'll be the first one there at like nine o'clock in the morning to take out money um and it became a hassle especially when i couldn't get there so early and i had to wait some time in line but that's the bank all right i'm on my way to my first atm um which is going to be a barber shop all right one of my popular uh atms or busiest atms um i'm gonna go there fill that one up and then i have another one another barber shop i gotta fill up and then from there um i have a burger spot i gotta wait some time to fill that one back up um because they usually they open up a little bit later and that one um that one i gotta do some dirty work because last time i went to go fill that up it, it was pretty nasty i opened up the bottom and I, it's pretty it's in a dark location it's, it's kind of dark in there so i couldn't really tell <clears throat> but then i noticed something on the bottom of my of my atm um and actually, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you right now. Y'all stick around. I'm gonna show you that when I get there. I'll talk to y'all soon. All 
All right, folks, I'm back. So I just left one of my barber shops um, that I just filled up, and I, I filled it up. I put money in, but when I was doing that process and I was putting the new money in, because um, usually what I'll do, like when it starts getting low, I'll um, I'll get a, no a notification on my phone, or I check I check daily to see where they're at. Anyways, but um, I'll see how much is in there, and if it's kind of low, then I'll go and I'll fill it up. I'll refill it, and I'll take the money that's already in there and put it in my pocket. Whatever, do what I got to do is switch it. And when I was doing that process, this is one of the hiccup that I made. You know, um, not paying attention. I guess the last time I put money in the, in this ATM, um, I noticed this time when I opened it up, I had one of the um. Let me see if I have it on me. Cause so I grabbed it. Uh, let's see, where is it? I had one of these. You know the little bands that you put over the money. So I had one of these things in stuck inside. So this little thing right here. So I had this little band stuck inside the cassette. So the box that the money goes into um, is what you call we, we call it the cassette. Um, I had that just sticking in there, and it was kind of like stuck in in the. And the processor that makes the money kind of come out so that was a hiccup on my end so when i was putting money in there last time i must have left one of the bands in there by accident after i took it out the money obviously um but i haven't noticed any hiccups as far as like money not coming out you know the numbers matched everything was good so it's not a big deal but it's something that i need to be aware of and something i need to do a better job of um paying attention when i'm actually putting money inside the cassette so that was that one now I'm gonna head to another barbershop that I had. I already paid this individual their profits, which profits is uh, is when I give them money for allowing me to have the ATM in there, and I do that every single month. So for this month in December, I already gave them their check. The barbershop I'm gonna go to now, I already gave them their check. The burger spot that I talked about, and y'all gotta stay tuned for that to see what's going on with that one. Um, I have to give them their check, so I'll be doing that as well. You'll see a little bit of that. All right, so let me get back to it. <laughs> Hey, another thing I want to talk to y'all about, um, leave them in the comments below, but let me know if you have a business, if you thought about starting a business, if um, you have aspirations of starting a business, whatever it is, let me know in the comments below. If you have questions on anything, let me know. All right, I have a couple businesses that I run, and real successful businesses, so I could probably help you guys out, give you some, some information on the process on how to get started, um, some ideas, whatever y'all need, just let me know. Hey, I'm back again. So I had some time in between um, my last ATM that I filled and filling up the burger spot that I'm gonna be going to next. And they don't open up to another about an hour or so. So I decided to get an oil change. So I needed to get an oil change. Um, my light went on. So I'm about to get an oil change. I just dropped the car off right now, walking down the street. Gonna see if I grab something to eat. Gotta get these calories in. I'm trying to hit the, I'm trying to hit the gym hard, gain some weight. I'm here, about to go to this, this is a bar and grill, see if they're open, get some food in, and stick with me y'all, see y'all soon, this is cool. All right, everybody, now I'm at Dollar General, okay, I got my oil change done. When I went to get my oil change, they told me that I needed a new tire, because it was like a little slash in the front driver's one, so I had to get a new one of that. Um, so I did that. Okay, now I'm at Dollar General. I need to go get some, some stuff. I need to pick up some cleaning supplies for my next mission, all right? Um, but I'm gonna share that with y'all. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. So I finally got to the burger spot. All right, <clears throat> I hit up Dollar General, got some stuff. You see some of the things that I just bought. Um, and the reason why I bought those things is because last time, like I think I was talking about it before, last time I came here to fill up the ATM, I noticed like something on the bottom of the ATM, okay? And I'm like, what is this? So I, I look down, I squat down, and I usually clean the ATM every time I, I refill them. Um, I have some disinfectant spray, kind of like what you saw um, at the other barbershop. Um, and then just wipe it down top to bottom. Um, but the inside is usually like 
always clean. There's nothing really to clean all the way at the bottom. Um, it's just like the wires and things like that. So I, I squatted down and I noticed and there's like these little pebbles and I'm like, what is this? So I asked the owner, I'm like, what do you think this is, man? And come to find out, it, it looks like roach uh, poop. So there's like a, there's roaches getting inside and this is a burger spot. So it's, it's kind of nasty when you, when you think about it. Um, but, and I wouldn't eat here, but <clears throat> I say all that because I got to clean it now. So last time I went, I saw it. I didn't have the cleaning supplies to do all that stuff. And I wasn't trying to get down and dirty. I didn't have gloves or anything like that. Um, so now I got some gloves. I got some, um, some roach disinfectant spray, whatever you call it. The killer, roach killer, um, the pads, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna scrub it, clean it real good. I got some some duct tape that way I could kind of seal off the holes where they could potentially be coming in from. Um, and then I also still gotta fill it up, refill it. Okay, I gotta pay the owner. Okay, um, because I do like I mentioned, I do profit sharing where I give the owners um, partial um, money for per transaction. So depending on the percentage, depending on what we negotiate. Okay, so I'm gonna give them that. All right, um, and I'll walk y'all in there. Okay, y'all can come with me, check it out. I'll see you guys again soon. So check it out. This is what I was talking about, y'all. Little nasty stuff. It's disgusting. So I gotta clean this stuff up. All right, it ain't gonna be fun. But I think these little bastards are coming in from back there, the little hole back there. Hopefully they're not chewing on anything or you know, messing with the wires, but it's still disgusting. All right, so there you go. All right, I'm back again. So I went in there, did what I had to do. It took me about like 15 minutes to clean that thing. It was, it was pretty nasty. So um, I cleaned it. It smelled like disinfectant spray all over, um, but I cleaned it pretty well. I covered up all the holes that were like, you know, on the sides where the wires come out to plug into the wall. I covered all those things with, with some duct tape. Um, I cleaned it really well. So we'll see, hopefully that, that, that stops it. Um, I put some traps in there, sprayed a little bit of the, the roach spray. Um, so we'll see after like a month or so how it is. Next time I go fill it up, um, again, I'll check it out, see where it's at, see how, how it is. If like there's, if they came back, if they're still going in there, if they are, then I'm probably going to just pull it, put it in a new location. Um, cause it's just nasty. I, I don't want my stuff, my equipment to be in a place like that. Um, if I could avoid it, I will. Um, but that's pretty much it. You guys seen it. All right. You guys saw how my day typically looks again. This is not my typical day just for the simple fact that I, I got my dog trained company and I'm not doing anything with that right now. I had some emails and phone calls and, and um, text messages I had to respond to. But other than that, you know, just, just kind of laid back today. Just fill up some ATMs, go home, spend time with the family, play with my boys. It's one of my favorite things to do is play with my kids and be around them. Um, go eat. I need to eat. I got to go to the gym too. I might show you a little glimpse of that. Me in the gym getting right. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Leave your comments below, questions, leave them below. Make sure you like, subscribe. I'll talk to y'all later.